Moon Knight Annual of 2023. That's right, folks. Last year, we had a really good one where Mark went up against the werewolf by night to help Marlene and Beatrice, a really fun book that felt like, yeah, we don't need to do like a big thing. We got the werewolf by night show coming out so we can tie into that. This year, however, for the Moon Knight Annual, we are tying it into the Contest of Chaos. What is the Contest of Chaos? I am genuinely asking that question while also giving you an answer to it. The Contest of Chaos, as far as I know, is this. If you read the Scarlet Witch Annual that came out this year, like I did, and I did a review of that if you want to see it, Agatha Harkness became like a young, sexy Catherine Hahn type. She took the heart of Scython out of Wanda, and she's using it to make a new Darkhold, and to do that, it sends... I don't know, magic across the Marvel Universe, and she has characters f fighting in this contest of chaos to be like her chosen people, like Horsemen of Apocalypse? I don't know. Uh, all the annuals are just, what if a character fought another character? So this time around, it's a Moon Knight book, and we also have the superhero of South Korea's team, Tiger Division, Tegoshi, or Teguk, Teguk, Teguki? Teguki? Uh, his name's Taewon. Uh, I know a little bit about Tiger Division. It seems like a thing that should be like a more prominent feature in Marvel, but it doesn't really get like that push. But you know, it's kind of exciting that like that's the way it went for this book. Now, I, I don't know if that's like, hey, if you're doing the Moon Knight one, you have to put Taewon in here. Or if it's like Jed McKay was given the opportunity to choose a character from the Marvel Pantheon to put in here. We'll kind of talk about it as we get towards the end. But it's Moon Knight versus Tegushi. Tego Tegoshi. Tegoki. I I'm sorry, I don't know it. There's even a joke in the book about Moon Knight not knowing how to say it either. Um, having not read any of the other Contest of Chaos tie-ins or annuals, this is weird. So we go to the New Jersey Pines. Moon Knight's like, I feel something calling to me here. And then Taewon's like, I feel something calling me here. So they both show up. And then Agatha Harkness appears, young, sexy, a Catherine Hahn type, if you will. And she is looking at the reader directly like, hey, it's my contest of chaos. Two champions have been called. You have, you know, Teguki, who's like a strong South Korean fighter, like an S-class supervillain, possessed eye beams, mighty strength and vulnerability, and then a mental case that likes moons. Does it seem fair? Probably not, but let's just find out what's going to happen. So they both find, like, glowing rocks, and they start to fight over the rocks. It's calling to them, and they're going to fight for the rocks. And they fight for the rocks. And, and okay, I mean, here, here's stuff I can get behind for this book. Agatha Harkness popping up randomly, young, sexy, a Catherine Hahn type, if you will. And she's like, hey, chaos magic, what does it mean? What does it do? I don't know. It's crazy and fun. What's going to happen? So they start fighting and easily Taewon's just beating up Mark. Like it's an easy thing. But then like the reality crystals start to change and they become different people. So Mark becomes Captain Crescent. It's like, what if Captain America, but Captain Conchu, that kind of a thing. You get it. And then Taewon became like the kingpin of South Korea, and they fight for a bit looking like that. And it's pretty clear who the victor is going to be, Captain Crescent. But then they morph again because reality is always alternating, and Mark becomes like a corpse of a zombie. And we see that Teguchi has like the power of the tiger spirit, and he becomes like a big tiger. So a mummy and a tiger man start to fight, and Mark's head gets cut off, and the tiger clearly won that round. That's pretty cool. And then reality warps again, and the two men become, like, the older, like, strongest, like, incarnate of what they're going to be, you know, like, a, a kingdom come version of themselves, if you will, like, the end of their line. And Mark's got, like, a really cool cloak cape thing that has, like, the like a, like a lunar thing behind it. It looks so cool. And you see that Taewon's, like, a big, bulky, strong man with, like, an old person beard, you know, like, like a classic superhero becoming an old guy. And they're like, I, I guess we're gods now and we're going to fight as gods and they fight as gods and they make like a huge crater and it's just like, this is crazy and it's just more fighting. And when they finally revert back to normal, Mark's like, huh, there's a power calling to us, huh? You know what? Forget it. You win. And he's like, what? Just like that, you're surrounding. He's like, yeah, you know what? 
I, I've had power all kinds before. Do you guys remember a couple years ago when I took over the Avengers and I took Thor's hammer and I got the Ghost Rider car and I had the power of the Iron Fist and I merged with the Phoenix? Like, I had all that power. If I can let all that go, then I don't need this shit too. Like, you know what the power of the Phoenix got me? It got me nothing. I don't have a good life. I don't have my kid in my life. And that sucks. So if this is like the same thing, I'm done. I'm out of here. I don't need this shit. So Mark just leaves. There you go. Tay won one. He won. There you go. Mark just walking away. And there you go. Agatha's was like, well, I guess I'm taking the super boy. He's pretty strong. And then I guess the next thing's going to be, you know, Spider Gwen is going to fight someone. And then we have the backup, which is the actual story of the chaos of con the contest of chaos. And we see that it's the Bruna Triangle and Agatha is like fighting some creatures. What are they? The Corosian? And they're just like attacking her on a ship. And it's like, you're over. You lost. And she's like, not when I have my chaos people reigning to help me. So Taewon's on the team and so Storm, Human Torch, and Wolverine. So, okay, she's got her horsemen and there's going to be more. There's going to be more of these. What does that mean? I, I really couldn't tell you. But next month, you have the Spider-Gwen one, you have the Venom one, you have the X-Men one, and you have the Avengers one. So there you go. I mean, there you go. I, I read this because it's the Moon Knight one, and I, I cover all the Moon Knight stuff. This is fine. It I guess it's kind of like a good palate cleanser. Like if you're having like, oh man, existential, you know, stuff going on of Black Spectre. What's something we could do with Moon Knight? Jed McKay is writing this and he's just kind of like, yeah, I get to be silly. Here's some different versions of the Moon Knight character we can play with. You know, a Captain America one, an old man one and a mummy one. And then at the end, he's like, you know what? Mark is not after power. None of his like choices he's making out are after power. So that's not what he's doing. So I kind of respect that. That does feel very in character for this iteration of Mark. It is a different costume than what Mark is currently wearing in the book, but that doesn't matter. This is a timeless thing in an event that nobody cares about, in annuals nobody's reading. Like, the unfortunate thing is, this isn't going to change the way people perceive Moon Knight, and it's not going to bolster the sales of our new sexy Catherine Hahn type, Agatha Harkness. Which is a shame because I do like Stephanie Phillips and I kind of think if we were to do like the Contest of Chaos, that should have been its own book. Why do it in the annuals, you know? I think after the success of the Scarlet Witch comic book, Agatha could hold her own miniseries. But whatever. Is it going to lead to a bigger story? I don't think so. But whatever. It's done. There you go. Fun. <laughs> so, Moon Knight Annual... Of 2023, the Contest of Chaos, if you will, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.